Hi everybody! So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I do my makeup when I've got like 15 minutes to leave before lectures and it's a rush and it's a struggle, I'm not gonna lie to you, but we get through it and we do this look right here every single day. I'm a really boring person, I don't change up my makeup look that regularly and it just means I can get this done really, really quickly and it's really, really handy. So if you need to get your makeup done quickly in time for school, in time for work, then keep watching because I'm gonna show you how I do it. Also, I just want to make sure that you know that you don't need to wear makeup and it is definitely not necessary. To be honest, at lectures in the morning, I'm in the minority of people who wear makeup. A lot of people don't bother. And to be honest, I don't blame them. Sleep is really precious. But if you do enjoy makeup like me, as you might have been able to notice in my vlogs, then here you go. This video is for you. So I usually start off by using an Alice band to get my hair out my face. It just works a treat because when your hair is in your face you get foundation, you get mascara in it, it just does not end out going well. So I always just pop one of these in, very cheap. I regularly snap them actually. I should probably invest in a better quality Alice band but what can you do? So I'm gonna pop that one in. Okie dokie. So I always start by moisturising my face. I use Neutrogena moisturiser and I have used this like ever since I started wearing makeup regularly. Haven't really experimented with other moisturizers because I find this one pretty good. It's oil free and I'm guessing that's good because you know I'm young, I do get spots. It's a thing that happens to the best of us and yeah, it works for me. Gotta prevent those wrinkles from occurring. I can already feel them coming on the forehead and I'm like, no, 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 I don't want to age. I don't want to age. So I usually just um, dot this on my face, on the face, put a nice healthy amount on. I do get dry patches on my skin quite a lot, so this helps. <laughs> and then I always find that I go overboard and I get way too much out of the tube. I'm like, oh, I've got to use it up now. So I have an extra moisturized face. It's great. <laughs> and moisturising complete. I then usually go on to use a primer. I'm not sure how well this works. I don't know how much of a difference it makes, but I use it anyway because it makes my skin feel really, really smooth. And I use the Benefit Professional Primer. It's fairly expensive, but this has lasted me ages. I've had this over a year now and it's still going strong. I use a very small amount each day. Squeeze some out. <gasps> Just all comes out at once. Oh my God. Look at that, look at that. It's all come out at once. Lucky me. <laughs> Let's distribute this over my face. <laughs> all head, down the nose and then I drop it in. Also, I make really funny faces when I do my makeup, so I really appreciate it if you don't judge me. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> thanks. Oh. There you go, skin is all primed. So the next thing I do is put on my foundation. I use a rather fancy foundation. It's rather expensive. I think it's like 36 pounds, I wanna say, maybe. Um, but it's so worth it, so worth it. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I love this stuff so, so much. Honestly, oh, I made the mistake of purchasing it once and now I'm hooked, I can't get off it. But I feel like you know, this is my treat. This is the thing that I'm passionate about. I love my makeup, I love doing my makeup. So I, I deserve nice, nice foundations. What I usually do is pump a pump and a half onto the back of my hand, like so. It used to just be a pump, because I was trying to ration it, but then I was like, do you know what, no. I need a pump and a half to make my face flawless. So that's what we go with. And then I basically just take my finger and I dot it all over my face. And then, <laughs> looking great, <laughs> I then take a blending sponge, like this one. Can you just excuse the fact that it's really dirty? I 
really need to clean my brushes and sponges but I have not got round to it at the moment so don't judge <laughs> I will soon this one is well it was pink it's kind of died a death um, but it's just a cheap one from Superdrug and it does the job Oh yeah, that's the other thing. I also like to sing a lot when I'm doing my makeup, so I really excuse that. <laughs> okay, that's the foundation done. As you can see, you can still see a lot of my skin redness. Still, like, yeah, it's not good at the moment. But that's where the concealer comes in, so don't worry about it. I got it all under control. But yeah, I can usually whip that foundation on in like a minute or something because we're working under time conditions here so it'll be quick I'm usually stressed like oh my god oh my god stress stress blend the foundation blend the foundation I go between different concealers I'm a big fan of the collection lasting perfection that literally everyone uses like everyone love that i'm really fair so i have to always go for like the fairest concealer shades for it to do any job of brightening under my eyes but i have gone for the maybelline fit me today it is one of their new shades that they've just brought out actually they've just brought out a really really light shade and i was like hallelujah the coverage isn't as great as the collection lasting perfection which is a shame but i still love it and around the nose chin because i always get spots down here in the eyes this basically gets blended out over the whole cheek but it's worth it because i get so much redness there it's just not even funny what i also like about this concealer is that it doesn't like burn under my eyes i don't know if this is a regular thing people are going to be like oh my god no, it's like an allergic reaction. I don't even know, but some concealers, what I'd put them on, it really burns under the eyes. Comment down below if you get that as well, so I know if it's normal. But I um, don't get it with this concealer, which is excellent. And then I just bring some of that up. It's left on the sponge over my very veiny eyelids. Again, like I'm taking so much time over this now, but. Like in reality, when I'm getting ready, this is another one minute job. I'm like, quick, quick, blend away, blend away. It's always a stressful time because I basically always think I can have longer in bed than I actually can. It's not good. Next, because you can see I'm rather shiny right now, shining like a beacon, I powder it off. I use a loose powder. This is a recent development actually. I always used to use the Rimmel Stay Matte pressed powder. Loved it. But then I prefer the finish of loose powders now. So today I'm gonna use the Rimmel Match Perfection. I always have issues shaking it out. Please don't go everywhere. I'm in the lounge and I don't think my parents would be best pleased if it goes all over the floor. My sister's already had an accident with spilling makeup on carpet this morning. Didn't go down well. <laughs> I've got a little um, amount in the lid of it. I take my powder brush, which is an e.l.f mineral powder brush and yeah kind of take some dust it off and then put it all over my face do we want to be shiny hell no again this is a very quick job we don't have no time for no baking we've got to get to our lecture powdering my face off and then i do some on my eyelids just to prep it for the small amount of eyeshadow I will be putting on. Oh, this is the greatest show. Okay, so I feel like I'm fully powdered. The next thing I go on to is brows. If I am in a real rush, I might skip this step out. If I have only 10 minutes, brows have to be sacrificed because I do have fairly full brows as it is is i'm quite lucky in that respect if i have time i like to fill them in i use the benefit goof proof brow pencil in shade two because i don't like too dark a brow I don't like too strong a brow i like it to be subtle and then i use the benefit 24 hour brow setter as like a setting gel over the top to keep them in place all day and yeah i love these like benefit brow product products are literally 
the best you'll find in my opinion. And these are so easy to use. Like for someone like me who is not the most skilled or doesn't have the most attention to detail, these are a life saver, I'm telling you. See, I go for the crayon end. I get them threaded locally, which is always good. And then I feel like the shape is fine from that. So I just follow what's already there, fill them in to make them look a bit fuller. Why is this song going around in my head? I can't deal. It's just in my head. Help. <laughs> and then I always like to um, kind of like brush over it with my finger just to smudge out a bit so it's not so harsh in the in a bit of the brow. I don't go for a really defined line. I just go for a general effect. <laughs> Okay, and so then I go in with my brow setting gel, which I, oh, I can open. I was gonna say I can never open, but turns out today I can. I just go over them with this. Like so. The next thing I do is again a step that I will often miss out if I have like 10 minutes, but with 15 minutes, we can fit this in. And that is eyeshadow. I use, Another quite expensive product, uh, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. It smells so good. Like, if you could smell this right now. It smells of chocolate, and I literally love it. It's a beauty. It's my favourite palette I own. And I don't do anything fancy on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't have time for that. I take my e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Does it have a name? Blending brush. The e.l.f. blending brush. I use the shade Milk Chocolate, which is this brown one here, my shadow brush in it, just go and put this in the crease and I literally just blend it in. Blend, 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 blend. We went for quite a lot today, turns out we had quite a lot of stuff on our brush. Okay, let's work with it. This is how it's done kids, this is how it's done. Oh no, I feel like this is exposing me for the disaster I am at makeup once and for all. Anyone can do this. It's like literally you take a brush, you dip it in that, and you swipe it in that crease and that is literally it. Even if it's not like perfect, it just doesn't matter. Beautiful, beautiful. And there we go. That's kind of what we're gonna leave the eyes at. You just a wash of brown. Oh, but I'm not finished. I take my very small little Pencil brush. I've got no idea where I got this from. Okay, so I take this shimmery shade here, which is called Champagne Truffle, and it's just the perfect little shimmer to go in my inner corner, and I just feel like it just lights up my eyes, you know? Whoa, whoa, shining inner corner right there. We focus on quickness and easiness, and feel like this look has it all, you know? So that's eyeshadow complete. The next step is mascara to finish off my eyes. I go between different mascaras. I'm a big fan of the Maybelline Lash Sensational, which I know everyone raves about. And now actually, I've been using this for the last month or so, and I really like it. It's the L'Oreal Miss Baby Roll Mega Volume Mascara. I love it, it just has all the properties you'd want in a mascara. It lengthens your lashes, it has, just gives them volume as the name says. But I always start by curling my lashes with my lash curlers. These are just from Superdrug, they're getting a bit old now actually. I always curl my lashes without fail each day. It actually makes so much difference. My mum has been like to me, Paige, your lashes look so long. And I'm like, yeah, it's cause I curled them. And now my mum curls hers all the time and it makes such a difference. Just trust me, trust me. Let's curl those lashes. Let's curl those lashes. And then we take our mascara and apply. I never thought I'd be into makeup. Like when I was younger, like in secondary school, a lot of my friends were into it and wore quite a lot. I just never had an interest. Lovely jubbly. 
lovelies. Do you know we're nearly there? Come so far. <laughs> and yeah, I don't do anything on my cheeks on a day-to-day -day basis. No, no contour, no bronzer, no highlights. I just go in with lipstick next. And this is my everyday lipstick. It is a Makeup Revolution lipstick in the color Chauffeur. Looks like this. And the best thing about it is that it's only three pounds. I can tell you that honestly, it's my favorite lipstick I own. <laughs> and I own a lot of high-end lipsticks. It's just, it's a really natural nude color. It is not drying at all. You know when your lipstick just comes off throughout the day and it looks weird because you can see people's lipsticks come off. When this comes off, you can't really tell because it's such a natural color, but it just makes a difference. It's, oh, I could rave about this all day. There we go. And we take the other spad out. And with that, we are ready to start the day. To head off to lectures, to head off to school, to head off the work to work. Wherever you're going, you are ready to start the day. Yay! And believe it or not, that only takes 15 minutes. Like, literally, if you just do one thing after the other, 15 minutes. So thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and that it was interesting to see what I get up to in the morning in my 15 minutes that I've got to spend before I have to cycle to lectures. And yeah, I hope it's useful if you need to be doing your makeup quickly before you get to school or work or uni or whatever you're doing. So give the video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to see some more videos from me. I usually do a lot of studying videos and vlogs of my time at Cambridge University. And yeah, I'll see you soon with another video. Hoping to do a study with me tomorrow. So be prepped for that, be prepped for it. And yeah, see you later. Bye.